God bless your heart real good. Good evening to you. This message is pre-recorded. This is not live. This is pre-recorded. Good evening to you. Uh, we greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive. God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Jesus Christ is now set on the right hand of the Father. According to the scripture, Jesus Christ is coming back again. He said, be ready. Be ready. And how you think not the Son of Man coming? All right. I want to I need you to get your Bible. Get, get your Bible. I want to talk about leading people to Christ. Leading people to Christ. You ought to hear that term where well, I led this one to Christ. I led this with a Christ. I led so many to Christ. Leading people to Christ. <clears throat> How do you lead a person to Christ? How do you do that? How do you lead, lead a person to Christ? That means you bring them to Christ. That means that, well, I'm mighty afraid many, most churches, most pastors, most preachers, I said most, do not lead people to Jesus Christ Although they say they do, but they don't. Get your Bible and let's examine that. You cannot lead people to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Glory to God. John the Baptist led people to Christ. John the Baptist told the people to repent. Confess your sin. Repent. Turn from your sin. And believe on the one that's coming after me, that is Christ Jesus. Which means the requirement to be with Jesus, the requirement for eternal life, the requirement to come to Christ, to follow Christ, to obey Christ, to be righteous, the requirement is what Christ said. See, you don't lead people to Christ without leading people to follow Christ. Welcome. Come to Jesus. Come to Christ. Let me lead you to Christ. Take my hand and let me pray silently. Repeat after me these words. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You got to tell them what Jesus said. Uh, Jesus said, Such the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, for the scripture testify of me. Jesus said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come. 
Lead the people to Christ. This is the word of knowledge right here. Christ never said lead people to him. Christ said follow him. Christ said obey him. Now you, yes, if we, whenever anyone preach Christ, whenever anyone hear the gospel of the kingdom, let go of that quickly. The kingdom, the, I got the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven. Let's start there. It show you where most don't lead folks to Christ because of one thing. First of all, let go there. Woo! Glory to God. <laughs> Remember the rich young ruler? He came to Jesus. Remember Nicodemus? <laughs> he came to Jesus by night. There are many that come to Jesus and they want eternal life. They think, but when Jesus tells them uh, what they must do uh, to be saved, uh, to have eternal life, uh, they turn around uh, and they walk away. Uh, from Jesus, when this when Jesus tell them what's required of them, they walk away. They turn around and walk away from Jesus, although they be led to Him, but they walk away. Go to Matthew sixteen twenty four. Ah, God, Hallelujah. The, the way I'm going, I should have did this live because I believe it'll be a little long. Matthew 16, 24, look what Jesus said. Look what Jesus said. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You know, most don't tell tell people to deny themselves. Most don't tell people that. Deny yourself. Following Jesus may cause you your life. Following Jesus bring persecution. Following Jesus call the world cause the world to hate you. Following Jesus call people to lie on you. And speak all manner against you falsely. Following Jesus. You may get killed. Following Jesus. Lead people to Christ. No. Follow Christ. Follow him. Let go to Luke chapter 8. Uh, yeah, 18. Lead people to Jesus Christ. But do you tell them to follow Christ? Hallelujah. Are you in Luke chapter number 18? And we're going to begin reading with Verse 18, this is somebody that came to Christ. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge here. This is someone that came to Christ. Yeah. 
yet when they heard the requirements of what it take to have eternal life, they walked away from Christ. Many come. Are you watching me? You have tuned in on this Facebook and YouTube. You are you have come to Christ now. I didn't say I was Christ, but I'm giving you Christ's words. Now are you gonna turn around and walk away when you hear the requirement? Are you gonna walk away from Christ? Lead folks to Christ. No, oh, Christ said, follow him. Watch this. A certain rule asked him, good master, what shall I do that I might uh, to inherit eternal life? Yeah, most churches preach that. You want eternal life. You want everlasting life. Come down here if you want everlasting life. Where will you spend eternity? Come down here. And in most churches, with most preachers, when the people come down at the invitation of eternal life and everlasting life, when the people come down, they do not get the instruction on what to do to have eternal life. They get instruction on what to do to go to hell. Good matter what shall I do to have eternal life? Watch this. Here was somebody messing right here. Wait a minute. Jesus said here, why right? call me? Thou be good. There is no good save one that is God. Thou know the commandment. Wait a minute. You got to keep the commandments. In order to have eternal life, you got to keep the commandments. You don't tell y'all don't tell folks that. Y'all tell folks. Just accept Christ your present day. Repeat out to be the tell the power. Just believe me that you again. And you say nothing about keeping the commandments. You gotta keep God commandment. I didn't say keep the law of uh, You gotta keep God commandment. What commandment are you talking about? Don't commit adultery. Don't kill. Don't steal. Don't bear fall with it. On our father and mother. What all that be? What all that be? Don't sin. Law, that there was a word of knowledge right there for you. That would it be. Don't sin. Have the word of God before me. Keep the commandment me, don't sin. Jesus said, uh, if you love me, uh, keep my commandments. Uh, Y'all don't say nothing about that. You gonna be saved, you gonna you gonna follow Jesus, you gonna have eternal life, you gonna keep his commandments. Saints on eight. Oh my God. Saints on eight thirty one. Then said Jesus to those Jews would believe on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If ye continue in my word. You got to continue. Wait a minute. All right. 17. Uh, no, 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 I want 15. John 15. <coughs> Hallelujah. John 15 chapter. And uh, verse number 10. If ye, this Jesus talking, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have 
kept my father's commandment and abided in his love. Verse 14. Ye are my friend if ye do whatever I command you. You got to keep Jesus' commandment. If you don't keep his commandment, if, if you don't turn from your sin and stop your sin, but time get away from me. Mark chapter 1, verse 15, Jesus said, The time is fulfilled. Repent ye and believe the gospel. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Jesus said, uh, Mark chapter 2, verse 17. I came not to call the righteous, but send us to repentance. Uh, how many you know when you repent, you repent from evil. You repent of your sin. You repent that the sin be took away. The book of Acts, chapter 2, 38. Repent and be baptized, everyone. You in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. You got to repent. Well, in Acts chapter 3, long about verse 17, 18, 19. Repent ye and be converted, that your sin be blotted out. Well, uh, uh, here we going on down here. To, uh, 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 Jesus said, except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Jesus said, rejoicing in heaven over one sinner that repented. In Luke chapter 24, hallelujah, 47, after Jesus rose, he told us what to preach, and you don't preach this, and you ain't lead nobody to Christ. 24, 47. Look at what Jesus said. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name. That means Jesus required you to repent. For the remission of your sin. Jesus will take away your sin. If you repent. Alright. Titus 1 and 16. It said. They profess they know me. With their. They profess they know God. Watch it. What did I do? What did I say, Tyler? Oh, boy. I should have went live, but I'm going to try to condense it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. i tell you what. Hold on. Go to Hebrew. You, how many people you led to Christ? You didn't lead them to Christ? If you were telling them what they must do, how they must live, how they must keep his commandment, you didn't lead them to Christ. Hebrew 12. Well, 12 and 1, where those said we also compared by with every, with, with, with so great cloud of wisdom, lay, lay aside every way that had these sin which does so easily beset us. Lay aside the sin. Romans 6 and 1. Shall we continue to say that great may about God forbid? Romans 6 and 15. Shall we sin because we're not under the great under the law, but under the great God for me? Who do you your service to? To obey those service you are, whether sin unto death or righteousness unto eternal life. Romans six chapter. Oh, uh, Peter two. 19, I believe. God, I will it that it should perish, but that all should come to repentance. My time, get my time done. Got away, God knows. 
I should have went live. That's all right. That's all right. Give me the book of Peter. <coughs> then we go into the book of Timothy, and we going to knock off. Peter, 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 Peter. Come on, Peter. Okay, I see you, Hebrew. Give me Peter. Hebrew time, Peter. Peter. Second uh, Peter. Two. Ninth. Two to uh three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise some men kind of slack but they long serving to us with <coughs> not willing that they should perish, but they all should come to repentance. You don't pre repent us. You ain't leading nobody to cry. Now, the rich young I wanted I wanted something else too. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Timothy. Timothy. How did that? Oh that. Second Timothy. I want chapter two. And verse 19, 2 Timothy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you live? You ain't need nobody to cry. You're a line one. 2 Timothy 2 19. Never left the foundation of God. Stand it sure. Have this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are healed. Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Let it go here. Go to John 3. Mm. Now you know the, when the original ruler heard what he must do. Keep the commandment. Then say what he have. Give to the poor. Come and follow me. He turned around and walked away. When Jesus told him what he must do, he walked away. Just like some of you, when you hear the truth, you walk away. Saints on three, I got to knock off. Ah, Lord. Come on out of here. Saints on three, look what Jesus said. And this is the condemnation. The light coming through the world, and men love not the rest of their life because their deeds are evil. Wait a minute, how many people you led to Christ? 20. Everyone that do it will hate the light, neither come into the light, lest indeed should be reproved. You didn't invite nobody to the light. You invite somebody to cut to go to hell. You gotta repent. Keep the commandments of God. Obey every word. Turn from your sin. Go sin no more. That's what you gotta do to have eternal life. And believe on him to take away your sin. How many have you led to Christ? None. In order to lead to Christ, you got to tell them what Christ said. You got to give them Christ's requirements. According to told he feeds the one and four. According as he had told them before, him, before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame. First on five, and this is love. That we keep his commandments. All right, you ain't lead nobody. You no, know, you didn't lead nobody to cry. You didn't tell them cry requirement. Before he'll cry requirement, some turn around and walk away. You didn't lead nobody to cry. You a lie. Now it all lead to cry. You gonna tell them what Christ said and what required of them. Not repeat no sinner prayer. Not just believe he died early again. But they must live the life. Keep it good, mad, mad. Continue in his word. Obey every word. Go see it no more. <laughs> Believe him to take away your sin. All right. How many did you lead to cry? Are you leading to cry? God bless you. Thank you for very much.